welcome back to my channel for a video that I have actually done before and I love doing it so much. We're doing a new version of it. Spring cleaning is here. I want to try to get rid of some things. So what I'm going to do today with you is clean out my closet, take a handful of items that either don't fit me or just don't wear that much, take it to Crossroads and see what I can exchange those items for. So kind of like a sip and thrift, we might also go sip. Should we go get a should we go get a matcha on the way? <laughs> but instead of for paying for these things, I'm just going to see what I can exchange my clothes for and then we'll come home, we'll try it on, we'll style an outfit around it and I have no idea what I'm gonna find, but I'm so excited. Without further ado, let's go see what I can exchange my clothes for. Out with the old, in with the new, without ever spending a penny. Also cleaning out things, cause I'll probably get fewer things than I give. Win-win. They're looking through my clothes right now, so I have no idea what my budget is yet, but I found this jumpsuit, so cute, for $16.50 which isn't terrible. So I'm gonna hold on to it and keep looking and see what my budget ends up being. I just found this really cool like linen-y dress. I can tell it's gonna be super low, but if I take these straps up, maybe it'd be cute. It's half off of 24, so it's $12. I should try it on. Wow, okay, my total is way more than I was expecting. It's 185 store credit. So I have quite a few things that I found. I'm probably not gonna try on the tops just because tops fit. Doesn't matter how a top fits, but I'll show you what I found. I found this free people top. It's oversized. It's so cute for $18.50. Then I found, maybe I should try on this top just to make sure it fits all right, but it's Zara. It's $13.50. It's simple. I like the sleeves. And this shirt I think is, yes, this one's Urban Outfitters. That's the back of it, but the front looks the same for $10.50. And then over here, this is that jumpsuit. I definitely will try this on to make sure it fits before I get it. And this kind of like linen-y dress, I'm sure it's gonna be too long. And it might just be too shapeless, but I will try it on. And then I thought this jumpsuit was so cute. It's like linen-y, but it might be short, so we'll see. So I'm for sure gonna try on these three and maybe that one other top. And even if all this fits, I might have budget left over. Here's this top, I think it's cute. The sleeves are a little puffy, but I think it's cute. I'm gonna hold on to it as a most likely yes. Okay, I haven't buttoned this one up yet. This one fits. The only issue is I have a really short torso, so the crotch is like really low, so I like wanna pull it up to like the correct height but then there's all this extra stuff so I could wear it just with the crotch low like this and I don't think it's noticeable it just feels kind of funny and I guess if I have extra money I can shop for Brooke too he wouldn't mind that I don't think <laughs> okay I thought this would happen this is a no this is just way too much fabric way too shapeless I'm a box <laughs> I hope this isn't too short on me. Oh, it's an extra small. Mm, it might not fit. I don't even have to button this up to know that this is, this is, this is a no. <laughs> I'm gonna hang on to the three shirts for sure. Maybe the jumpsuit, and then I'm gonna go look at a few extra shirts, and then maybe a couple things for Brooke as well. But I'm gonna add up that total real quick and see how much I have left over. Look at this. <laughs> look at, look at this. <laughs> even if I get the jumpsuit, I've only spent $60. I have 120 left. So I'm definitely gonna look for Brooke. <laughs> Bonus, thrifting for husband. Okay, I know I tried on some things with you in the dressing room, but I grossly underestimated how far that money would get me. So I just started grabbing things my way out, mostly tops because tops, I don't have to try on. Um, things that fit the bottom half of my body, I do have to try on. And I grabbed a few things for Brooke as well, and I got 10 things for $174, which I paid $1. I don't know how that happened. I think the taxes made it go a little over the 185. I don't fully know what the math she was explaining to me, but I was like, cool, I trust you. I'll pay that dollar, <laughs> that's fine. And I stopped and I got a matcha at Blue Bottle. Things are going well. I'm so excited to go home and try this on and show you the other things I bought kind of last minute. I told the lady, that I was like, my intention of this was to clean out my closet and I might be going home with just as many things as you bought from me. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go home. Let's do a try on haul slash I'll show you what I got for Brooke. I'm very excited. I feel like it's my birthday and I'm just shopping. Actually, this video is probably coming out around my birthday. This video might be coming out on my birthday because my birthday's on a Thursday. Is this video coming out on my birthday? Huh. It's like March 3rd right now. I film way too in advance. I am way too type A. 
the moral of that story. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've made it home. Max is so excited I'm back. He's just sitting at my feet staring at me. <laughs> but I wanted to quickly show you everything that I got haul style and then try on a few of the things for you let me start with the things you probably care about the least get it out of the way a couple shirts i got for brooke i thought this was cool this is by a brand called the hun the hundreds it's this black shirt the front has this little like kind of colorful pocket and then the back has the same thing but larger Except for the only problem is the only pants he wears are these black pants and then he can't really wear black on black, but whatever, we'll get him some more pants. This shirt was technically a medium and he's a large, but it looks really big and it looks like a really good brand. It's called Fair Play. This was $13.50. And the reason I like this shirt, he loves grays. He lives in grays, but I, it has this little patch at the bottom that says Fair Play, all is fair, and it has the coordinates of like where it was made, but it's like stitched on. I just thought that was subtle enough to where he won't hate it, but cool enough to where I'll notice, you know? That's always like the middle ground I try to find when I find clothes for him. It's funny, because I have a very similar jacket, but I got him one from Members Only. I literally have this in my size and in a slightly darker blue, so now we can twin. This was $24, it's a size large Members Only jacket. I just think it's really cool, it's kind of more lightweight. Who knows if it will even fit him? It might be a little too small. It looks like it's on the smaller side, but you know what? I think it's really cool. So I hope he likes it. And then for me, so I just realized most of the things I got are white shirts. Hmm. And I, I'm wearing a white shirt right now. I needed to branch out a little bit more. In my defense though, I recently got some clothes that I got to pick out, it was gifted, and I picked like all floral things. So today I was like, okay, let's try to pick some more simple things to balance the floral things. But you saw this shirt, this is, a, a free people kind of tunic shirt. It's super long and flowy and I just am obsessed with it. And it's so funny because on the way out, I found another free people flowy white tunic shirt and I was like, you know what? I gotta get it. And then I didn't even realize until I was in the car that it's new with tags. And this tag says $98 and I got it for $16.50. And I just think this is so stinking cute too. It's more of like, kind of like a flannel cut, but just a simple kind of creamy white fabric, similar to this one. I didn't branch out very much today. Let's talk about something for the color for a second before we go back to more white. This reminds me so much, actually, both my sister and my best friend, Jacqueline and Kaylee, have so many shirts like this. And I just, whenever I see this, makes me think of both of them. This shirt that has like the kind of like cutout flowy thing. It's a very comfortable shirt. I like to wear shirts like this with leggings when I'm like at one of Brooke's tournaments or whatever to where I'm not actually working out, but I don't want to wear something that's like super tight with tight leggings. It's like a nice flowy on top of tight type of thing. Okay, let's go back to a couple of other white shirts. You saw me try this one on. This is that white shirt that has kind of the puffy sleeves. I like anything that has like a linen vibe and this totally looks linen-y. I'm gonna save the cool thing, the coolest thing for last. This is kind of a wild card. I thought this could be really cute tucked into a vintage pair of jeans, but this is like a very, very distressed vintage tee. What does it even say? Oh. Dark Side of the Moon, is that lyrics? My last video, everyone was like shocked that I didn't realize the Sublime shirt I bought was after the band Sublime. This is probably also a band reference that I just don't know. <laughs> I'm very pop culture illiterate. Historically, modern day, don't know who celebrities are, don't know who music artists are, don't have the time. That's me, I'm sorry. <laughs> and last but not least, I am so excited that I found this and snagged this on the way out. I haven't tried it on, but it's a wrap dress, so I'm just taking a chance on it. But the one floral thing I bought, this is from, what is this brand? Rails? It was $28, it's a wrap floral dress, and it just looks adorable for spring. So I'm gonna try on a few of the tops, and since this video has way more clothes than I realized, this is gonna be more of a try-on haul than like a styling and outfit around the pieces, because I was expecting to get like two, maybe three things, not 10. So let's try all the tops, let's let's see which one's our favorite, and then I wanna try on the dress as well. What do you say, Max? Does this sound good? What are you eating? What'd you find? Hold, please. You found a button. I would choke you, Max. You silly boy. Okay, let's start off with the Kaylee's Jacqueline T. Whatever material, Truly Madly Deeply is one of like Urban Outfitters like more comfortable brands and whatever material they use for so many of their tops is just like the softest thing. I need to figure out what material this is for Jancy the Label and copy it. <laughs> Cause I love it. It's so soft. I actually really like this. I know that like flowy girly things might not be as popular right now, but that doesn't diminish my love for it. I need to remind myself to like keep dressing with this 
because I like to, even if other people aren't. You know what I mean? It's very soft, very comfy, very cozy. I actually will be going to Wonder Brooks tournaments this weekend and I'll probably wear this with leggings, <laughs> to be honest. You think so, Max? I wanna try on the two free people tops next. And since they're so similar, I want to have a little comment battle and I'll try on A versus B. And you can let me know if you like A or B better. How does that sound? I'm gonna try on A first. We are calling this one A for the sake of this comment battle. It is very oversized. It's almost like a dress length, especially the back. The back could be a dress length for sure. The front's a little bit shorter, but I kind of love it. This makes me feel like I have a house on the waterfront in Malibu and I'm outside for my afternoon coffee and I'm just standing on my porch looking over the ocean, thinking about how great my life is and how fun it is to be wealthy. Something I can't relate to. <laughs> That's the vibe I get from this one. <laughs> is that too specific? Is that weird? I really love the material too. It's so soft. It is so soft. It's gonna be hard to beat this one, but nevertheless, let's give shirt B a chance. Shirt B, the thing it has going for it is it is new with tags, never worn, retailed at $98, so. That's a perk. I also think this is a small and that one's an extra small, so we'll see. Oh dang, these are pretty similar, huh? <laughs> I would say this one is slightly less oversized. I forget, is this the extra small? I can't remember. Yes, which makes sense. This is technically called Pink Pearl, so it has a slight pinkish undertone. Here, let me compare the two shades. See how this is more of like a pure white and this, to me I would call it a cream, but I guess it does have a slightly warm pink undertone to the cream. A couple fun details on this. Let me get up close and personal. I love these little like almost studs that are holding the pocket on. I think that that's just, that says, I pay attention to detail. This is quality, you know? And then the buttons have a little bit of like silver around each one, which is also paying attention to detail. Man, I don't know. I thought I liked the first one more, but now I'm pretty torn. Huh, here's a side view and a back view. I'm obviously gonna keep in love and wear both, but just as a fun competition, let me know if you liked A better or B better and why. Write me an essay. <laughs> don't do that. We're not in school. This is fun stuff. This isn't bad stuff. Okay, oh shoot, there's a little hole. There's a hole in the armpit of this one, but this one is so purposely distressed that it part, part of me wonders, is that on purpose? Look at like the neck of this one. You see how distressed that is? But let's try this on. Let's tuck it into my jeans. I'm wearing like skinny jeans right now, which is not what I'd wear with this normally. But nevertheless, let's try on the shirt and see what we think. Okay, it's not very often that you'll see me in a t-shirt and jeans. I gotta pop my hip. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's disgusting. Um, it's just not like my usual style, but I feel like I feel like I could get used to this. I would probably dress it up with like some black Chelsea boots, and I would definitely pair some more like vintagey jeans with this, some more statement earrings. I would just try my best to dress it up because the fit of this does seem very casual, especially considering the fact that it is so distressed. But I think it's a good item to push me outside of my comfort zone a little bit and to try new styles instead of everything being like minimalistic and or girly, you know? I'm trying to push those those boundaries. But speaking of girly, <laughs> I'm very excited to try on the dress because it's a total wild card because I was running out of time before I lost light in this room to film this video, so I just, I just grabbed it. I just grabbed it. Let's try it on. This is why you should always buy a wrap dress whenever you see it. This is one of those wrap dresses that it's not like a faux wrap dress that just ties right here. It's one where the like the string literally goes through the inside and then back out the outside and so you can make it any size you want. So a wrap dress fits anybody almost perfectly because you make it your size. Does that make sense? So I'm really excited that I found this and I grabbed this on the way out. It has like a fun little slit kind of. Like it doesn't necessarily look like it, but then when you walk forward, it's a little bit of a slit, not an aggressive slit. This is so perfect for spring. I feel like this is one that I could wear white tennies with during the day and like not feel too overdressed. Or I could put on some like slightly nicer shoes, like maybe some like low chunky heels. And this could be a date night dress or even an Easter dress. Or I looked for a dress like this for so long for my honeymoon, somewhere tropical, you know? <laughs> and couldn't find one. And now I have it, but I'm not gonna go on a honeymoon anytime soon. <laughs> There's word that we might go to Florida with my family though, so this would be perfect for that as well. Just, you know, 
out on the beach, to dinner, whatever. Anything in between. Guys, I like all this stuff way more than the stuff I gave to them. I haven't even opened the bags yet to look at what things they took, but they seem almost empty. I think they took almost everything, which I've started to figure out what they take when. And so for that reason, I brought very few like long sleeve items. I brought mostly like spring summer items since we're in March now. I knew they would only buy that. So I think I figured them out. I figured their games out. I'm not gonna waste their time. I'm gonna bring them only things that they want, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love doing these types of videos with you. If you are a frequent watcher of my channel, I would love to invite you to formally become a part of this friend group by subscribing and being one of one of these friends. I would love that. It would make my life so happy. <laughs> if there's any specific videos you would like for me to do, let me know in the comments below. I always find those suggestions to be so helpful when I'm brainstorming video ideas. And until next time, I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.